Hello, welcome to another daily psalm reading with Cornerstone Ministry 316, where Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Um, no one gets to the Father, but through him is what Jesus said. Uh, please uh, support the mission at www.cornerstone316.org. And um, check us out on YouTube, on our other YouTube channel, which is live, our live channel, rather. Um, today, we're going to be doing Psalm 31 for our daily psalm reading. So um, let's get to it without further ado. All right. And here we go. In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge, a fortress of defense to save me for you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, your names, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated those who regard useless idols. But I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy. For you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul and adversaries and set my feet in a wide place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye wastes away with grief, yet my soul and my body, for my life is spent with grief, and for and my years with and my years with sighting, my strength fails because of my iniquity, and my bones waste away. I am a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and am repulsive to my acquaintances. Those who see me outside flee from me. I am forgotten like a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel, for I hear the slander of many. Fear is on every side, while they take counsel together against me. They scheme to take away my life. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face shine upon my upon your servant. Save me for your mercy's sake. Do not let me be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon you. You let the wicked be ashamed. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips to be put silent which speak insolent things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you in the presence of the sons of men. You shall hide them in the secret place of your presence from the plots of man. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried out to you. Oh, love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord preserves the faithful and fully repays the proud person. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Wow. What a good psalm this time. So guys, I hope that touched your heart. Um, as I know it did mine. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you. Jesus loves you. And God bless. <laughs>